I'm just about to serve afternoon tea. Black tea also mobilizes uh, stem cells, as does green tea. Was that one of Dr. Lee's crows? In this video, we will learn from Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician, scientist, and author known for his work on the body's natural defenses, Welcome including back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Cells and has spoken about the benefits of various teas in relation to stem cell health and overall well-being. According to Dr. Lee, certain types of tea have properties that can positively influence stem cells, contributing to the body's ability to repair and regenerate tissues. In this video, we have a special bonus section with some delicious recipes that have stem cell regenerating ingredients featuring tea. Dr. Lee says tea is a powerful beverage that supports stem cell health. Tea contains catechins, particularly epigalocatin gallate EGCG, which have been shown to enhance the activity of stem cells, promoting tissue repair and regeneration. Additionally, Dr. Lee has explored the role of angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels in health and disease. Some teas, particularly green tea, have been found to influence angiogenesis, which is crucial for delivering nutrients and oxygen to tissues, including those involving stem cell activity. Dr. Lee advocates for the inclusion of tea in a healthy diet to support stem cell activity and overall wellness. The antioxidants and other bioactive compounds in these teas help protect and enhance the body's natural ability to repair and regenerate tissues through its stem cells. Here is Dr. Lee to tell us what it is that tea has that makes it so healthy for stem cells. So teas contain a natural substance, a polyphenol called catechins. One of them that has been best studied is called EGCG. It's, I'm going to say it so that people go, don't, don't say, oh, he didn't tell me what it is. It's epigallo catechin 3 gallate EGCG. It's a polyphenol, all right? Um, and it's present in tea. And when you brew a nice cup of green tea or black tea or oolong tea or pu'er tea, doesn't matter the type of tea you have, and you sip it, you are drinking that essence that 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 that, that emanates from the tea leaf the polyphenols in the tea leaf it gets into the brew uh, at warm temperatures it gets at hot temperatures it gets into the water the tea water and then when you sip the tea you're consuming this polyphenol the polyphenol in the body acts to mobilize stem cells whether it's black tea or green tea oh a quick favor we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Dr. Lee warns us about a habit that we should avoid when drinking tea in order to receive the most benefit. More tea. Oh. And while I know that um, Asian cultures where tea originated will usually drink tea straight, I do know that in uh, uh, many parts of Europe, like in England, uh, people love to put uh, dairy, like milk or cream, into tea. You know, an English tea in the afternoon with your tea, a little bit of milk, black tea and milk. And here's the thing. We've also learned that when you use dairy milk in tea, dairy being um, fat, right? There's dairy fat in cream and milk, that those fat bubbles in water, like tea water, form little mini, mini bubbles. You can't see the bubbles. But they are there under the microscope you can see them they're chemical bubbles and those little bubbles trap the polyphenol all right uh in tea so when you put milk in tea you're tr and stir it around you're forming little tiny bubbles soap bubbles of the of the milk fat and it's trapping those polyphenols so when you drink the tea the soap bubbles roll down your gut so you're not absorbing as much of the polyphenol as you normally would i would say you're probably missing out on 80% of the polyphenols from a cup of tea if you add milk in it. Now, this is true for dairy milk, but it's not true for nut milk. So soy milk, almond milk, all that kind of other kind of milk, those are fine. But the Asian way of drinking it is actually to get the full test. Now a little bit about green tea. In addition to green tea's antioxidant properties, which help protect stem cells from damage caused by oxidative stress, the doctor will now describe other benefits of this ancient beverage. 
Some more tea. Who hasn't heard of the benefits of green tea? We know tea has polyphenols, they're called catechins. We know one of the catechins is called EGCG. It's actually really, really good for you. Not only does it cut off the blood supplies to help starve cancers, not only is it anti-inflammatory, uh, not only does it help protect your stem cells so you can regenerate from the inside out, the, the, the fiber in green tea and some of the catechins, catechin itself is actually a prebiotic, helps to nourish your, nourish your gut microbiome, take your gut bacteria, make it happy, it's antioxidant, good for your DNA, stimulates your immune system. It turns out when it comes to your body fat, the catechin actually fights white fat. It actually helps you actually lose some of the subcutaneous jiggly stuff. But more importantly, it actually helps you lose visceral fat, the harmful baseball glove fat that can be trapped even inside a skinny body. So the bottom line is that green tea drinkers just metabolically are healthier. Matcha? A type of powdered green tea is especially rich in EGCG and is often recommended by Dr. Lee for its potent health benefits. The concentration of beneficial compounds in matcha is higher than in regular green tea, making it particularly effective in supporting stem cell function. Here is Dr. Lee to tell us more about matcha tea. And if you really want to get like as much polyphenol, stem cell polyphenol as you possibly can, I recommend matcha tea because matcha isn't just a steeped tea where you know you put the tea leaves in a ball or you take loose leaf teas and let them settle to the bottom of the of the cup but matcha is the entire leaf ground up into a powder so you get every bit of the polyphenol coming out into the matcha the cup of matcha tea that you would drink it's really potent so tea is another a substance that's actually good for um uh, 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 stem cell. Black tea contains theflavins and the arabigans, which have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. These compounds may help support the environment in which stem cells operate, contributing to overall health. Here is the doctor to tell us more about the benefits of black tea. More tea, please! Food number five, black tea. You know, Earl Grey English breakfast tea. There's a lot of black teas that are out there. Fermented teas are also black. Now, black teas um, are actually start out as green tea, and then they're actually uh, oxidized until they turn black. Uh, 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 and then they can actually be fermented as well. Now, black tea contains the same polyphenols, catechins, as green tea does. Maybe a little bit less because of the oxidation, but it's still there. And it turns out that the way, same way the green tea is useful because of these catechins and polyphenols, black tea is also useful. And studies have been done in Italy of black tea and the impact of black tea on stem cells and vascular health. So they took older people uh, who had definitely bad circulation and gave them black tea, two cups to drink for a day for a month, and they actually measured in their blood their stem cells. And what they found is that black tea would actually cause stem cells to come flying out into their circulation. These are stem cells normally found in the bone marrow that would actually repair the circulation and improve circulation. Um, now, how do they know this? Because they did flow mediated dilation. They did that blood pressure test to see how well the blood vessels would rebound. And from compared to before black tea and then until after a month of black tea, they saw tremendous improvement. Here are a few delicious and nutritious recipes featuring various teas that align with his recommendations to regenerate stem cells. Green tea smoothie. Blend a cup of freshly brewed green tea with a handful of spinach, a banana, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and a splash of almond milk. The antioxidants in green tea and the nutrients in the spinach and banana can contribute to overall health and stem cell function. Matcha latte, your favorite. Thanks. Matcha latte. Whip up a creamy matcha latte by whisking a teaspoon of matcha powder into hot water. Add a splash of milk or a plant-based alternative and sweeten with a drizzle of honey or maple syrup. Matcha, a powdered form of green tea, is known for its high concentration of antioxidants and can support cellular health. Okay, I think I'll have the, um, the grilled salmon. Grilled salmon. Black tea salmon. Marinate salmon fillets in a mixture of black tea, soy sauce, ginger, and garlic. Grill or bake until cooked through. Black tea contains antioxidants that can help protect cells from damage. 
Chicken yakisoba. It's a Japanese stir fry. Oolong tea chicken stir fry. Saute chicken with your favorite vegetables in a sauce made from oolong tea, rice vinegar, and soy sauce. Oolong tea, a semi fermented tea, is known for its potential health benefits, including antioxidant activity. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the nutritarian diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.